Hi everyone. In the initial classes, we had talked about how linear arrangement is not just a left to right sequence, but it can also be what is called a top to bottom arrangement, where basically, unlike the left to right, you have the top and bottom as the two extremes. So today what we're doing in today's session is we're looking at one such set which involve the concept of top to bottom arrangement. This session is brought to you by Meenalanjan Dutta, a Kat and Diala 100 person Tyler, and as part of the entire linear arrangement series. So let us get started with today's set on linear arrangement. For those of you who are just viewing it on the recording, what you can do is pause this for one minute. You can try and solve the set for yourself for a few minutes and then you can play on to look at the solutions. So meanwhile, let us look at how to solve this set. So here we are talking about a person called Krishna who has stacked up the books for all his subjects on the table. So on the table, you have the books for each and every subject. There are a total of nine subjects which and with one book for each subject. So total of nine subjects, each subject has got one book. So effectively, you have an arrangement where you need to arrange nine books on a table, one on top of the other. So what you need to do is, using these clues, you need to be able to identify which book is in which position, which is at the bottom, which is next above it, and so on, up to which is the book at the top of the pile. Now, I've always stressed upon how the first one minute of any DILR set should be spent in going through the questions and options. So what are the question options in the set? The first one is saying, which of these do not constitute the top three books in the file? The next one is saying, the book at the bottom of the pile is for which subject? The third one is saying, which of the given statements is false? While the fourth one is saying, how many books lie above the computer book, but below the history book. So these are the four questions that are there in the set. So at any point of time, when you're trying to solve the set, you need to ensure that you're completely focused on the question options at well. Why? Because especially the set becomes difficult, these question options can make it a lot more easier to solve the set. So with this in mind, let us see how to go about solving the set. So what we've done is we put in all the clues here. So these are the six clues that are given to you. Now what we've done is we've created nine levels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine levels for the nine books one on top of the other. The first thing that you expect you to do in any DILA set is look for what is called as direct clues. So always remember to look for direct clues. Now what do I mean by direct clues? Direct clues are those which assign a definite position to any of the books. For example, if you look at the second clue, it says physics book is that second position from the top. So if I look at from the top, this is the top and this is the bottom, which automatically means this book here, that the second from the top is your physics book. So what I've been able to do is plug in that as a direct clue. Now, if you look at the next set of direct clues, you'll find they said there are a number of books above and below the English book are equal. That is, are the nine books are such that the number of books above and below are equal, which means the English book must be the fifth book. That is right in the middle of all the books. So the English book must be here such that you have one, two, three, four, four books below as well as four books above. Note, the moment you have four books above and four books below, you end up having an equal count of books below and above. 
So always remember, whenever you have this clue like equal number below and above, it means that book is in the middle of the pile. So out of the nine books in the fifth position, in the middle position, you have the English book. So these are the two direct clues we have in the set. The next, now we've got to move in to the indirect clues. Talking of indirect clues, there are multiple clues as far as chemistry is concerned. So what are the clues on chemistry? It says chemistry is not amongst the bottom three books. At the same time, there are four books in between Hindi and chemistry. And that too, chemistry is Nietzsche. The moment it says latter is below, it means latter means the later one. That is chemistry is below Hindi and beach may there are four books. So what can be the position of chemistry? Note, chemistry cannot be in the bottom three, which means chemistry has to be here because there needs to be four books in between chemistry and Hindi. So the moment I tick these four books here, so Hindi must be your topmost. So to enable Hindi to and chemistry to have four books in between, the only option is chemistry being just below English, such that you get four books position between Hindi and chemistry. Remember, Hindi will always be above chemistry because it is mentioned the latter being below. So again, when you're looking at indirect clues, look for those indirect clues which are multiple in number. For example, chemistry has got two clues related to so focus on indirect clues related to them. But indirect clues always comes in after you're done with your direct clues. The next thing that you can look at is now you plugged in Hindi, physics, English and chemistry. So now if you look at the remaining ones, it says the geography book is four positions below the book for history. So you've got to look at where could that be. Alternately, you've got one more clue which says computer's book is two positions above biology, which means computer book is above biology and there must be a gap of one book in between. However, if you look at gap of one in between, you cannot have the only position where you can have the computers and the biology book is here and here, such that there is one book gap in between. Note, above the English book, there are only two positions, so I cannot put a computer's gap bio sequence. So computers and bio both have to be below the English and chemistry books, such that I can keep a gap of one book in between because it says computer's book is two positions above. So that is how I plug in computers and why. Now the moment I do that, if I look at my remaining clues, it says geography book is four positions below history. So if you look at a lower level, there's only one slot remaining. So geography must be here and geography is four positions below. If you do a count, one, two, three, four. That means the history book must be here. That leaves us with only one subject. That is the maths book, which is neither adjacent to geography nor above the Hindi book. So the last slot will be going to the maths book. So effectively what we've done is we've been able to arrange all the nine books in a top to bottom sequence. Always remember, start with the direct clues and then move on to indirect clues. Within indirect clues, look for those which are related to the same topic. For example, in this case, if you see, there were two clues related to chemistry. So look at how you can combine both the indirect clues and then proceed accordingly. The moment you're done with this, if you move on to the questions, it becomes a cakewalk. Which of these do not constitute the top three books? As you can see, the top three books are Hindi, physics, and 
maths. Which means not considering the top three books if option B, computers, which is way below. The second question is saying the book at the bottom of the pile is for which subject? So if you look at the bottom of the pile, you have the biology. The third one is saying which of these given statements is false. So if you look at it, the physics book being below the chemistry book is your false statement. Why? Because the physics book is here, which is above the chemistry book. So statement A is your false statement. The other three statements are true statements. The last question is saying how many books lie above the computer book but below the history book. So where is computers? Here. Where is history? Here. How many books in between? One for English, two for chemistry. So there are two books in between. English and chemistry are lie above computers but below history. That automatically means the final question the set, the answer will be option B, that is, So that is how you can solve top to bottom arrangement. Now again, a lot of you keep asking me that is there any shortcut techniques that are possible? And if you remember at the starting of the set, I did mention about always going through the question and options in the set. Why? Because if at any point of time you get stuck in the set, the question options can also help. While the conventional approach is important, it is also important that you employ the question options approach. So let us now see how you could have used the question options approach to be able to solve the same set. And this is very important, especially if you are not able to solve a particular question in the exam. So let us erase this out and let us start from scratch. So these are the nine books with positions from top to bottom. So the layout will still remain the same. The only thing is, as and when we get stuck with clues, we'll try and use the question options to our advantage. But the structure still remains from top to bottom as follows. Now, what are the direct clues available? The direct clues, which is physics book, is at the second position. What are the other direct clue available? The number of books above and below English book are equal. Which means the English book is your middle book with four books above, four books below. But unfortunately, these were the only two direct clues in the set. Now let us see how we could have used the question options to our advantage. Now, Let's focus on two questions. The first one being this. What does the statement say? Which of the given statements is false? What does it mean? Out of the four statements, only one of them is false and the remaining three are true. So the moment we identify which is that false statement, we can automatically say that the remaining three statements are false. Also, the moment you plug in physics here, which is the second from the top, you can automatically say that the answer is option A, that is physics book being below the chemistry book is false. Why so? Because the topmost book cannot be chemistry. Remember, there's a direct clue which says that the chemistry book is not among the bottom three. At the same time, there's another clue which says the chemistry book is below. The chemistry book is below the Hindi book. So whatever happens, chemistry is not on top. So one thing is for certain that chemistry is below physics. So one thing that you know automatically is statement A is your false statement. Also, if you look at the options in question one, in question one, they are saying which of these do not constitute 
the top three books, which means what? Only one of the books is not in the top three, while the remaining three books constitute what is the top three. So the top three books basically comprises of any three of these options. Is that clear, everybody? The moment it says which of these do not constitute top three, it means the top three comprises of any three of these books and one of these books is not in the top three. So as you can see, physics is already in the top three. Now, if I combine these two particular questions, options, you already know that here the true statements are B, C, and D. Why? Because you've already identified a to be your false statement and there can be only one false statement because there's only one correct answer. That automatically means Hindi book is at the top of the file. So what happens is you're able to plug in, assign the position to Hindi book. Also what you have is a clue which says three books above the history book, which means the history book position can also be assigned as this position such that there are three books above the history book. So that is how you can plug in positions for yourself. That is give yourself additional clues to play with. Now, we already know physics is in the top three. Hindi. Now, if you look at the final question in the set, it talks about how many books lie above the computer book but below the history book. That automatically means the history book is above the computer book. So what does that mean? That given that the history book is here, the computer book must be somewhere here. So wherever it is, one thing is for sure, computers does not feature in the top. So one thing that you can be assured of is computers are not in the top three, which means the top three constitute of physics, maths, and Hindi. Out of which, your top two is Hindi and physics, which automatically means your third from the top must be your maths. So now you're left with only the bottom four books whose positions you need to fill. Now, if you look at the clues, there's one clue related to computers which you need to find out. You already know the position of the history book, but you need to find out the position of the computers. There's another question which says the book at the bottom of the pile is for which subject? Now, we already know the position of maths. We already know the position of English. So what we can do is eliminate the two options. So that leaves us with two options for the bottom of the pile. Now, if the bottom of the pile then must be either biology or geography. Out of that, what is said? The geography book is immediately above the biology book is a true statement, which means the bottom of the pile can only be biology. So what do you do? You go ahead and plug in biology as bottom of the pile, but more importantly, because geography is immediately above biology, you go ahead and plug in second from the bottom as the geography book. So what you've done is you plugged in seven of the nine books just by using the questions and options. More importantly, you've also been able to get three out of the four questions done. And now you're left with only one question remaining in the set and that depends on where the computer's book is. Remember, you already in the position of the history book. So all that matters is where the computer's book is. So look for clues on computers. There's a direct clue which says computer's book is two positions above biology. The computer's book comes in here, which again means between the history and the computer's book, you have two books in between. So you could have marked the final answer as two books. Which is the remaining book? 
There's only one book remaining. So the answer is chemistry. So as you can see, the same set can be answered in a much more easier fashion if you utilize the question options judiciously to your advantage. Remember, in every DILR set, all the four questions, including all the options in each question, are related to the same data set. So the more you stay alert for the same, the more easier it will become for you to crack the set, especially if you're getting stuck somewhere while solving. So I hope this is clear to you. In case you still have any queries, don't hesitate to reach out to us via the Telegram group and discuss any queries or understanding challenges that you face regarding the set. Also do share your queries in the comment section in the chat window. So an important announcement, we have the full syllabus DILA compilation available for all the topics. So you can avail them at the following links and use the FF code as given. Similarly, we've got a compilation of all the links available for Quants as well. So as you know, as part of this series, we're coming up with a new video daily. So do suggest us with more and more topics that you want for upcoming videos. Let's first focus on linear arrangement, which are the more varieties that you want to see. And then we'll move on to upcoming DILR topics as well as well as quants too. So do suggest us in the comment section. Do keep liking, sharing, and commenting. And do not forget to join us at Telegram on the Person Tyler Live Telegram channel. On that note, till we connect again for the next session, thank you everybody and happy learning.